uh, for opening of an exhibition on uh, Sri Rabindranath Tagore from the archives of uh, Indira Gandhi National Centre for the Arts and also from the archives of uh, uh, of uh, Virasat in Kolkata. <coughs> uh, Sri Ganesh Narayan Singh was quite kind to loan his exhibits to the IGNC. Now I will request uh, the uh, dignitaries, uh, Dr. Sachidanan Joshi ji, uh, Fabiya Kartie, Shaktie, uh, Neel Kamal Adak, uh, Basu Acharya ji, and Sulatna uh, Banerji ji to kindly come on the dais, please. In fact, I will request all of you to assemble near the, uh, the lamp so that we can start the program with the lighting of the lamp. And I request my colleagues from Cultural Archives to make arrangements for the lighting of the lamp, please.
Thank you and uh, welcome to ITNCA. It is indeed a matter of privilege to hold this uh, event here uh, on the occasion of Rabindra Jayanti. Uh, I must thank Alain Francis and the French Institute for collaborating in this important event. On the dais, Fabian Kathien, Sri Neil Kamal Adakji, Ms. Suguna Banerjee, Sri Basu Acharyaji, my colleague Professor Achal Pandyaji, His Excellency the Ambassador of Guatemala, Her Excellency uh, Riva Ji, Dutta Brothers from Kolkata, and of course uh, people who have contributed in this exhibition. I welcome everyone here at the ITNCA and uh, now this has become a, a routine event at the IGNCA and we are really privileged to hold this event uh, on Rabindra Jayanti. As we all know, Tagore has been an iconic figure as far as the Indian culture is concerned and he was instrumental in, in taking the Indian cultures beyond the barriers, beyond the boundaries throughout the globe. And he is supposed to be the cultural icon of India. And he has represented so many things, brought out so many things to the knowledge of the entire world. When we see the life of Tagore, it has been full of ups and downs. But one thing which remained constant was his undaunted creativity, which motivated him to do the better things every time he emerged out of some problems. And that makes Tagore distinctively different than other people of the world. And that is why he had the courage to return the knighthood when he saw the massacre at the Jallianwala Bagh in 2019. I think it was 29th of May 2000, uh, 1009, uh, I think, uh, 1019 or 29, I don't remember. 1999, is it? 1999, when he returned the knighthood uh, just to tell the British Empire that whatever they have done is not right and this is the strongest way of protesting that thing. So that courage uh, Tagore had and uh, that is the spirit of being Indian, that is the spirit of having the legacy of a great culture which we all must follow, we all must admire in the life of Teko. And his association with different countries has, has also emerged as a great source of inspiration. May it be France, may it be Japan, may it be the United States of America. I still remember uh, recently visiting to Chicago uh, and seeing the place where Tagore was there for some time and this is remarkable. So that, that also shows that how, uh, how he was associated with different countries and different lands. So IGNCA uh, also has some rare photographs at the Wadia collection which I think last time also we have shown and uh, we would be showing, him, showing them in the near future. And we also have some remarkable paintings on Tagore and Shanti Niketan in our archives, which are really remarkable. So whenever you have chance, kindly see those archival paintings and uh, uh, made by Elizabeth Brunner and Sars Brunner, which are really remarkable and, uh, and astonishing paintings and good uh, piece of a great piece of artwork. So not taking much of a time but uh, I am not, uh, I cannot withhold myself and I would like to recite one poem in Hindi of Tagore which was translated by Ramhari Singh Dinkar and it came out in the com compendium brought out by the Sahitya Academy and people who know Hindi would really enjoy this and people who do not in, no Hindi would kindly excuse me for reciting these poems because I do not know Bangla and uh, the kind of words inspire me and that is how I tempted. 
it was uh, it was a poem titled pran and that also shows the desire of a creative person uh, how he or she want to live in this earth and how they want to be remembered pran सुंदर संसार में मैं मरना नहीं चाहता सुंदर संसार में मैं मरना नहीं चाहता मनुष्यों के बीच मैं बचना चाहता हूं जीवन हृदय के बीच यदि स्थान पा सकूं तो इन सूर्य किरणों में इस पुष्पित कारण में मैं अभी जीना चाहता हूं पृथ्वी पर प्राणों की क्रीड़ा सदैव तरंगित रहती है यहां कितना मिलन कितना बिरह कितनी हंसी कितने आंसू मनुष्य के सुख दुख में संगीत बिरो कर यदि अमर आलस्य की रचना कर सकूं तो यहां मैं जीना चाहता हूं वो यदि न हो सके तो जब तक बचूं तुम लोगों के बीच सुलभ रहूं और इस आशा में संगीत के नए नए फूल खिलाता रहूं कि देर सवेर तुम इनका चयन करोगे हंसते हुए फूल तुम ले लेना उसके बाद यदि वे फूल सूख जाए तो उन्हें फेंक देना और इसीलिए मैं अभी जीना चाहता हूं मैं अभी जीना चाहता हूं थैंक यू वेरी मच नाइल रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर सचिदान जोशी जी टू काइंडली फेलिस्टेट दी गेस्ट आई रिक्वेस्ट कल्चरल टाइम्स टीम टू काइंडली असिस्ट अस इन दी फेलिस्टेशन ऑफ आवर गेस्ट प्लीज स्टार्ट विद सर मिस्टर साबिया शाफी Thank you for very much for coming, sir. <coughs> With ma'am Sulagna uh, Banerjee, ma'am. Basu Acharya. Sunil Kumar Adak. now i request uh, my colleague uh, uh, from uh, cultural archives uh, satish uh, sharma to kindly come and uh, conduct the uh, the further program he will also talk about the exhibition that has been put up here uh, in uh, the exhibition halls and also he will conduct the, the future course of the program thank you very much satish Uh, respected dignitaries today uh, ignca has organized and curated two uh, different uh, exhibitions on the occasion of ravindra jayanti the first one will be gurudev ravindranath tagore a literary and art genius from the uh, cultural like archives collections of elizabeth bruner elizabeth sass bruner anand k kumar swami shambhu shah dr d wadia and kapla vasai uh, the rare photographs and paintings are uh, displayed in four and five major categories namely shantaniketan abode of peace outstanding universal value uh, second one is the an ashrama of uh, celebration third one is gurudev rabindranath tagore and the interactions between uh, uh, mahatma gandhi the fourth one tagore and his endeavor in agriculture and ecology how uh, the environment of rabindranath uh, tagore's uh, the view of shantaniketan and shubharati is being conducted the final one will be rabindran tagore and his french odyssey the second exhibition is titled the rare photographs of rabindran tagore from the archival rare photograph collections curated by shri ganesh pratap singh uh, virasat art of calcutta it will be displaying the original photographs of uh, rabindran tagore ji his family and uh, some of his uh, voyages to europe and his one of his original handwritten documents so with this uh, let's continue the uh, lecture session the first lecture will be by dr fabian chartier the title of the lecture is tagore's french connection 